Here's something fresh uh -huh. in indie style. And today, uh, a little fresher than usual. And not just you. I'm Tracy Forner. This is Andy I Hauser. Shower. The produce mom is here. <laughs> She's fresh. A little too fresh sometimes. But she got That's some right. perfect she recipes is. for the upcoming holiday week. <laughs> Lovely head of hair. <laughs> lovely lashes, lovely smile. Lovely head of lettuce. Now I'm getting out. Lovely head of lettuce. Head of lettuce. <laughs> exactly. Produce mom joins us, Laura Thank Taylor. You. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Great to be back. Thank you, guys. Um, so I thought we would uh, really focus on the upcoming holiday weekend, mm -hmm. Memorial Day. Yeah. Always an exciting time here in Indy. And in the fresh produce industry, uh, we consider this the kickoff to grilling season. Um, and so all the recipes I'm going to do today are my favorite fruits and veggies for the grill. For the grill. Fabulous. And the first recipe I want to demo is actually the pick of the week recipe. Mm. Okay. Um, so this sign right here. There it is. So proud of it. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. I like it. Uh, thank you. So this You look great as a cartoon. Yeah. So this program, just <laughs> once a week, for those who follow the blog, they know that we showcase one fruit or vegetable every week and it's called the produce mom pick of the week that's cool so Great. this is the recipe okay the pick of the week is romaine have mm -hmm. you ever grilled your salad believe it or not i actually have okay i have uh, but i didn't do it the way I, i'm sneaking ahead to look a peek to yeah. a finished product there i didn't do it that way so i obviously well, was not doing it right one of the most iconic salads of all time obviously caesar salad sure. most people Absolutely. really like it yep. And it's great for entertaining, um, and you can make it just, this is, it's very rustic, very delicious, and when you do it on the grill pan like this, so it makes it, it turns your salad into something very savory. Right. I mean, it's, and I didn't do this, but a friend of mine did, and honestly, mm -hmm. that's all we raved about. So this if you're salad. doing it, let I me did demo just the, the steps romaine, here. So yeah, but, please. That's so there you have, you guys can uh, get started on that if you wish. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like it when we get to eat early. Yes. I know, right? Okay, so here are the steps for putting this together. You simply start with a romaine heart, and then you take your Caesar dressing. I love the yogurt-based pre-made sure. salad dressings. Mm -hmm. No one's got time to make homemade dressings. <laughs> no. At least not a mom not of a six-year-old no and a four-year-old. No so. one's got time for that. <laughs> um, the, the yogurt dressings are delicious and, you know, very nutritious. So, um, and then you just add a little bit of your parm and asiago on top. Great. And then panko breadcrumbs will replace your traditional croutons okay. um, with the Caesar. Now, sure, yeah. if you're putting it on your outdoor grill with like your burgers and your steaks, wrap, wrap it in foil first. Because did okay. you notice when I served it, I had to pick up the melted cheese and yeah, kind of put it on top. Okay. And on a grill, You'll it would it. fall through the grill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. yes. So wrap it in your foil if that's, if that's how you're gonna do it. If mm -hmm. you're serving it on a stovetop, I make this recipe quite often at home for okay. dinner and yeah. indoor grilling. Just go ahead and place it on the grill. It takes about, depending on the size of your romaine heart, gosh, I mean, it can be done in up to less than five minutes. Awesome. So, okay. So you want to just leave it on there? Just, just let it hang out. Okay. Yes. All yeah. Right. And it'll get soft. And then, <laughs> and so, uh, and you'll know when it's ready because the top leaves will start to wilt. Okay. So, so you're actually, okay. Actually, oh yeah. man, it's surprisingly crunchy. I and like so all of these produce mom pick recipes, they were, these are the recipes of the week that we're featuring now on uh -huh. the produce oh. mom.com on the social media. And if I'm ever asked back on indie style, I'll feature him on here too. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> well, I what like the, the idea of that because you know Ooh, you wow. mentioned no one's got time for that. I get in a hurry. I want you know even mm -hmm. if we want to do something outside or have people it's over, delicious. tend to run to the produce department, yeah. grab the same things over and over again. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. if I did grab something that was different, I wouldn't know what the heck to do. This so program this really helps identify how to select, store, and serve specific fruits and vegetables. And to your point. The purpose of Produce Mom Picks is to get shoppers to navigate the entire department and get away yeah. from just their standard six items on yeah. the list. I grab a bunch of bananas, yeah. grab a bag of apples, and I'm gone. And then right. see what else is there. There's a, yeah. there's a whole That's exactly big right. Department. And we're always buying the same thing, eating the same thing. You just kind of get over it, and you don't always think beyond what you do. Well, you know? and it's, you don't always seek out new recipes. And this program also helps shoppers understand seasonality because that's sure. a big yeah. that's a big Eat component in, in in our in our industry your fruits and vegetables will taste better yeah. when they are in season but you know, not everyone's a produce nerd like me well, well, we're, who has well, worked in this industry their whole life. We're also, as American consumers, we're a little bit spoiled in thinking we can get anything anytime we want That's without right. factoring in right. whether it's going to be better or locally That's sourced right. or things like that. So you ready for the big announcement? Oh, yes. Produce Mom Picks. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's in Illinois. It's in Minnesota. It's in Wisconsin, and it's coming to Indiana. I was going to say, you're leaving right. one out there. Great. It's coming to Indiana next month. 
at all Kroger stores. And no, I'm so man. excited. So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It's good That's to start awesome. with a little wow. mom and pop shop like Kroger. Yeah. yeah right? I'm you know, so congratulations. excited. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes. So, when you're shopping, uh -huh. you can think, okay, I know this I'm little gonna, cartoon so, character. So, so, I know this cartoon character. I'm actually going to see this little cartoon character. I know the, yeah. the three-dimensional one. Remind people right. where they can track oh, you down on social thank media. Thank you. Uh, Theproducemom.com and the recipes that we're demoing today will also be on IndieStyle.tv. Fabulous. Yes, we will post those. Yeah. Hey, big party happening. Hey. Uh, lots of big parties happening leading up to the race. There's yeah. some partying that goes on during the race. There's a big there one you need to know about yeah. after the race. We're going to find out about that after the break.